Good afternoon, Vikes. Today we have a special for May the 4th. I'm Darren. And I'm Morgan, and this is your daily news. Prepare for something amazing. Hey, my sis, what's up? <laughs> Cotton O'Neill will be doing sports physicals on May 12th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. for $20. Ten of it will be donated back to our school. Stop by the athletic department to get more information. There's a close-up trip coming up. Let's hear more about it. Hi, I'm here today with Mr. Cromie to talk about the upcoming close-up trip. What is the close-up trip? Um, close-up is a um, nonprofit, nonpartisan organization that offers um, civics education, civic and government education to high school students and um, it's, it involves spending a week in Washington DC learning about our nation's history as well as how to participate as a member of our democracy. Okay, how can students get involved with the close-up trip? Um, close-ups open to all students who are interested in going, or all, excuse me, I should say all um, senior students who are interested in going. Um, we like to offer it to seniors because the um, program is, has a real heavy government kind of focus, and as a result of that, we like people to be um, taking the trip during their senior year. Um, but if anybody's interested, there's going to be a senior next year, you can just come by and talk to me about it. Okay, thank you. Now back to your anchors. The close-up trip to D.C. will take place next November. There will be a meeting May 7th at 6 p.m. in room E14. If you have any more questions, go to room E3. Fees for seniors need to be paid in order to receive your cap and gown. Go to Ms. Olson in the front office if you have any questions. Applications for the Flint Hills Writing Project are due today. Seniors will check in their laptops May 15th through 17th, and upper, upperclassmen will check laptops May 22nd to 24th after completing their last final. If you're interested, come to the choir room at 3.30 on Monday and Tuesday for show choir clinics. Auditions will be held on Wednesday at 3.30. There are 20 spots open to receive a free fishing license. See Ms. Popescu in room 927 for more information. Next week, Stuco will be sponsoring a Stuff the Bus event to gather school supplies for the Boys and Girls Club. There's a contest to name the former East and West Locker Bays. The deadline is Friday, May 11th. Send your ideas to Mr. Tinsley on Schoology. Now over sports with me after this quick commercial break. This summer, Flint Hills Writing Project is hosting a three-day Words Matter writing camp for high school students interested in developing their skills as a writer. Participating students will explore the importance of documenting their stories. The camp will take place on June 6th to the 8th from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. at the Brown vs. Board of Education building. Applications are due on May 4th. Spots are filling up fast, so apply soon. Do you enjoy fishing? Are you 16 or older? Then sign up for a fishing license with Mrs. Popescu in room 927. They are free for students and teachers, but there are only 20 left, so get yours today. There will be an off-season informational meeting on Wednesday for anyone interested in wrestling. Freshmen will meet in the West Commons during activity period. Sophomores and juniors will meet in room C3 at 7.40 a.m. Now over to Weatherman Josh to see if this warm weather will continue. Good afternoon, Vikings. We did have some active weather over the past few days. Here's a look at the number of tornadoes in Kansas. Of course, 12 on the 1st. Six uh, on the second, and then yesterday we actually didn't have any. So that moderate risk not quite verifying. We thought it would be a little bit more active, especially here in the Topeka area. But nonetheless, we are looking at quieter weather over the days to come. Look at all these advisories and watches, warnings that were issued for Shawnee County. Any, anywhere from tornado, flash floods, severe thunderstorm watches to 
significant weather advisories, severe thunderstorm warnings, and even an aerial flood advisory. So it was overall a pretty busy period, and we do look to quiet out. Rainfall at the Billard Airport was uh, just shy of two inches over the past couple days, so a good drinking of water as well. For the rest of today, 80 degrees humidity, while you may have still noticed it this morning, is continuing to decrease, and by the time we'll get, we get out of school, I think it'll be pretty much unnoticeable. Very low humidity with temperatures in the upper 70s, maybe even reaching 80 over the next few hours. And then tomorrow, even warmer. 70s will stay in Missouri. I think all of Kansas probably makes it into the 80s, and we could be looking at middle 80s, plenty of sunshine for your Saturday. Then we are looking at the muggy weather returning just a little bit as we head into the middle portion of next week. But for now and through the next several days, dry weather. I know a lot of people enjoy it when it's not as muggy outside. Despite the dryness, we may be able to overcome some of that on Sunday. A very slight storm chance, mainly for area the eastern half of Kansas, and but the better chance will probably stay to our east. This is looking more of a morning and afternoon type event, kind of like last Sunday. Now for your SVTV seven day forecast, you can see that the weekend, lots of sun, a little bit more clouds early next week, a storm chance Tuesday night, maybe again on Wednesday, but temperatures remain in the 70s and low 80s with lows in the upper 50s and low 60s. Today in history, it's National Weather Observers Day and Space Day. Now, back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Make sure to enjoy the rest of this nice weekend. We are going to leave you with a May 4th special. Have a great rest of your day. Who's your favorite Star Wars character and why? Uh, probably Yoda because he is, he's wise and he's cool, man. Mine's probably uh, Jabba, Jabba the Hutt. He's really lazy. It's probably my dream job, just lay around. Uh, clearly, uh, my favorite character is Jar Jar Binks because he is clearly the best character. His character development throughout the entire series is absolutely amazing, and I just love every part of him. I would have to say, like, Jabba the Hutt, because he's, like, really kind to humans, you know? Like, there's a Sarlacc, what, whatever, you, whatever it is, I don't know. Because, like, it, I, from what I remember, I think it, like, swallows you for a thousand years or something like that. That could be right. I think so. <laughs> uh, favorite character would be Han Solo, because I love Harrison Ford. <laughs> what is your favorite Star Wars movie from the series and why? <laughs> My favorite movie? Uh, probably the first one because it's the only one I've ever seen. Four because cause, uh, Han Solo does something with the thing. I'm not for sure. Uh, Attack of the Clones because giving everyone a lightsaber is an amazing idea. And I feel like that in that movie it was just a masterpiece on George Lucas's part. And every bit of that movie was just done amazingly well. Well, a lot of people are going to disagree with me, but my favorite um, from the Star Wars trilogy is actually the Clone Wars because I really like the clones and stuff like that. I'd have to say Seven because it shows us just how much uh, they can do with women characters. But Augie, the question everybody wants to hear, light side or dark side? Dark side, obviously, because I mean clearly they're the ones fighting for a great powerful government and all always big government is always an amazing idea nothing ever went wrong because of it and therefore the dark side is clearly the best uh dark side uh dark side oh dark side 100 percent. dark side um light side because jedis are cool 